So, something a bit different today. I am in the horse box and we are going cross country schooling. So I'm going to take you along with me. The dogs are going to start barking because there's someone next door. Um, but yeah, I know you guys want to tour around the horse box. That will be coming because I'm cleaning it out tomorrow. Um, because I've sold it and I'm getting a new one. Is this still in Ben? They're arcade lambs. Um, so yeah, let's get ready to go because we're going half an hour. Aren't we Finn? Yes sir. Um, so yeah, I've just got the stud box out because we put studs in. Um, I put studs in the shoe, I'll show you what it is. Um, so he doesn't slip. Now I only put one in each foot. People put two in, uh, but I only put one in each foot. Are you prepared, my friend? Mm. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna try, right? So, I sit down. Hang on, let me pull me in closer. Um, so I sit down to do my studs. You shouldn't do this. Um, the only reason I do this is because um, many years ago I had a pony have me off and uh, at the lower part of my back um, I landed on a gate and it like obviously bent my back um, so that was quite a serious fall and that really hurt um, so ever since then I haven't been able to um, stand up and do my studs so that's why I have to sit down and he is very very good aren't you mate sitting under his little solarium um, and he picks his feet up for me um, so yeah this is I'm going to show you so that hole there that's the stud hole so I need to clean that out um, I need an extra pair of hands I need to be an octopus so I'm just going to clear that out and um, we'll get going hang on I'll just leave you running So normally I put cotton wool in the holes to stop them from getting stones and stuff in them so it's easier to clean them out. Now it doesn't hurt the horse, there you go, there's my cotton wool. It doesn't hurt the horse because um, it's literally just a hole in the shoe. There you go, it's clean. Um, and then I use this little device um, that clears all the hole out so I can put the stud in and bench stand then I put flat studs in um, because obviously I don't want to be traveling him in big studs so I put flat studs in and then so I screw that in and then I get my spanner and um, I just screw them in not too tight because obviously I need to take them out anyway and that's what we have there so I've actually already done all four because um, I had dad talking to me. So now we're just going to get him ready to brush him, take his rug off, brush his tail. Say hello doll, doll sit. Good boy. How do you look at this? a paw. Good boy. Doll spin. No, that, no that's down. Doll stand up. Doll spin. Doll spin. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> We're just, we're just learning rollover, so we haven't got that on command yet. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. Uh, now I've brushed him, um, I'll just put a tail guard on and bag. Um, I normally put a tail bandage on and plait it. I normally put a tail bandage on and plait it. Well, plait it and then put a tail bandage on. That's for shows, uh, because he's not going to a show in the front. Um, I'm only doing this so he keeps it sort of clean. Not that it's mega clean anyway. Because I haven't washed it. And then put the tail guide on top. So he doesn't rub his tail. Just being in the wash. So it's all stuck to everything. I 
I need a new one. Really need a new one. So then I go and put a rug on him. Now I don't put a normal rug on him, I put a magnetic rug on him. Don't really know what it does, it just starts like getting the blood pumping. Um, we don't have a long journey, it's about 45 minutes to, the, to where I'm going. So uh, that's why I put it on to travel. Um, he just performs better if he has it on. It's just his preference, so I'll go and get that. So this is the rug. It does have a neck on, but you, it's a detachable neck. So all of these in here are all magnets. Mm. He just prefers it. So I don't put actual travel boots on. If I'm going to a show, I'll put magnetic travel boots on. I don't know, because he just prefers it. But because we're not going very far, he doesn't have travel boots. He doesn't wear travel boots anyway. He just wears um, leg wraps. Um, so yeah, he's he's a full Connie um, from Ireland. I bought him over from Ireland. And um, he's got a big attitude. It's like not riding the seas. Finn, how old are you now? 12? Or 13? How old are you? I think you're 13. Yeah, 13 year old now. I bought him over from Ireland as a rising four year old. So that's how long I've had him. I know him inside out, he knows me inside out. And I'd never sell him, he's taking me to Hoy's. He's one at Hoy's. So yeah, let's get packed the lorry and then we'll pack you on. He also likes digestive biscuits, Mackey's chips. He loves ice cream. So I'm just leaving in the little monkey box and I'm actually gonna put it on my chest for a change. So I've got the other one. I'll put it on my chest when I get there and on. Um, I've never used it, so I don't know how it's gonna come out. Um, but we shall see. Uh, I think that's about it. My head one's a bit broken and it won't stay tight. That's why I've got to use that one. I need to order a new one. But yeah, let's go or else I'm gonna be late. Leg up. So we've arrived. I'm gonna get tacked up and studied up because I'm late. This is my mate next to me. Um, she's already nearly tacked up, so I was running late. So let's get going. Come on. And
to, yeah. to go around that. Um, she'll follow him over. Yeah, she did. So it's a big ball thing. You can see jump ball thing. She's quite that ball. Yeah. He used to jump ball. Yeah, water. She goes through the water first. He used to jump bullfinches um, with his workers. He's loaded up, you can't see him because that's seen. And um, yeah, Whew. go home now, I'll go wash my lorry. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time, bye.